Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to determine the midpoint of given two points using the midpoint formula. This is the first part. I will put the link of the second part in the description box below. Midpoint comes from two words combined together. That's middle and point. So that's how we got the word midpoint. So midpoint is the middle point of a line segment. This point is equidistant from both ends. Now we have here this midpoint formula. Given two points, x sub 1, y sub 1 in coordinate form, and the other point, x sub 2, y sub 2, the midpoint between these two points can be computed using the uh, midpoint formula that we have um, down here. So that is actually the average of the x values and then the average of the two y values. So pretty much like x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, and then um, y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. Now let's take this first example here to better see how do we use this um, formula that we have here. We are supposed to determine the midpoint between the points q, which is on negative 4, 2, and r, negative 2, negative 2. So the first step that we are going to do in order that we can determine the midpoint between two points in a line segment is that we are supposed to label the coordinates. So the first coordinate will be labeled as x sub 1, y sub 1, and the second coordinate would be x sub 2 and y sub 2. It is very critical that we label them so that we know which one goes to which. The second step is to plug this values that we got over here into the midpoint formula. So using the formula that we have here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug those in. So our x sub one is negative four, so I'm gonna write negative four plus, so that's part of the, uh, that's part of the uh, formula, plus x sub two is negative two, so I'm gonna put a negative two here. It means that this whole thing is divided by 2, and this again part of the formula that we have here. And then we're gonna uh, uh, go through the y, so the average of the y, so y sub 1 would be negative 2 plus y sub 2 is negative 2, so I'm gonna put negative 2 over there, and that is divided by 2, that's part of the equation, and then we close the parentheses. So then from here, we're gonna simplify this, so we got negative 4 plus negative 2 would be negative 6, and that is over 2, and then we have um, negative 2 plus negative 2 is a negative 4, and that is over 2. So then from here, we can go ahead and simplify this to be negative 3 and negative 2. So this is the midpoint of this um, two points, which uh, includes the Q and the R. So if we were to draw this graphically to see if this is this really on, uh, in the middle between these two points. So I'm going to plot the point Q here. So Q is negative 4 and 2. So it's negative 4, negative 2. So this is our Q. And our R is located on negative 2, negative 2. So that's going to be on negative 2 and negative 2. So this is our... Um, point R. Now, if we draw the line segment, so we're going to connect this um, two points right here. So this is line segment QR. Now, it says that the middle point or the midpoint is located on negative 3, negative 2. So this is the midpoint M and it makes sense both algebraically and graphically, m negative 3, negative 2 is the midpoint. As you can see here, we this satisfies the definition for the midpoint right here. This m is actually equidistant from both points. It means that this m that we have here is actually the distance between m and q is equal to the distance between m and r. So this two uh, distances that we have here are congruent. So these two, these two are congruent. Again, that's based on the definition for midpoint. It is equidistant or the midpoint is equidistant from both points. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. So first, we again, the first step is to label the point. So this would be our x sub 1, and this is um, y sub 1, and this is x sub 2, 
y sub 2. The second step is to plug it into the formula for midpoint. So the formula for midpoint is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2. And then that's y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So let's plug it in. Our x sub 1 is negative 4 plus our x sub 2 is 4 and that is over 2. Our y sub 1 is 5 minus 3 is 2 over 2. So we can simplify this as 0, 1. So this is our midpoint or the middle point between what point W and point Y. Now let's draw this on this graph right here to see if does it really make sense. So we start on um, X sub 1 which is negative 4 and positive 5. So this is our point W and our point Y is on positive 4, negative 3. So this is our point Y. So then if we connect these two points together, this is line segment WY. And then it says here that the midpoint is located on 0, positive 1. So it's going to be right here. So and that makes sense because this midpoint M is actually in between W and Y, which means that the distance or the length from W to M is congruent to the length from M to Y. Again, that is because um, midpoint is equidistant from the two endpoints of a line segment. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the third example right here. So again, the first step is to label the two points. So this will be our x sub 1, y sub 1, and this is x sub 2, y sub 2. Again, we plug it into the formula. The formula for midpoint is x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2 and y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. And then we go ahead and plug it in. That's the second step. So um, our x sub 1 is 5 plus our x sub 2 is negative 2 over 2. And then our y sub 1 is 2 plus our y sub 2 is negative 5 divided by 2. So then from here, we simplify this. 5 plus negative 2 is 3. And then that is over 2. And then um, 2 plus negative 5 is negative 3. And that is over 2. So pretty much this is our midpoint. Or you can change this into decimal. That should be 1.5 and negative 1.5. That should be, th this should be good. Okay, so let's draw or let's sketch the uh, uh, line segment and determine if this midpoint really works for these two points. So let's start with uh, point H, 5, um, 2. So it's going to be right here. So this is point H. And then we have the next point is K, which is negative 2, negative 5. So it's going to be down here. So this is point K. So that means that uh, this is our line seg segment HK. Now let's see where the uh, midpoint is. It says that 3.2, again, 3.2 is 1.5. So it's in between that. 3.5 between 1 and 2. And then this is negative 1.5. So in between this. So that makes sense because this is our midpoint. Again, that's halfway between 1 and 2. And halfway between negative 1 and 2 is 1.5 and negative 1.5. So this is our midpoint M. Again, midpoint is a point that is equidistant from the two endpoints of a line segment, which means that line segment KM is congruent to line segment MH. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.